Hi, it is Wednesday. It's amazing how fast that comes around every week. Let me get started. This one is from a Susan in Texas. Mary Ann, we have wanted to move and have been trying to remodel our home for the past 13 years and can never seem to get anything done. We take two steps forward and one step back. Tools are we are working with go missing, tools break, causing us to spend a great deal of money to buy new tools, replace the lost tools. My husband is continually coming down with injuries and illnesses pre preventing him from working on repairs. I bought this home when I was single, then when I married we decided we wanted to move out of state. That is when the problem began. began. I was bullied into buying this home by my now deceased parents. They said it would be perfect for me and I should keep it for my old age because I would be safe here. The house is far from perfect and I don't know about safe and we really do want to move. What should we do? Sounds to me like you never said in the letter how old the house is. This could be a previous owner that is angry two things you're remodeling there in their own mind their perfect house and they're obviously stopping your husband from doing it and they may like you and they don't want you to leave believe me earthbound spirits in a house can cause all kinds of problems for people trying to get out my suggestion to you if you haven't had to, if you haven't tried to have the house blessed yet smudge 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 normally every 10 to 2 weeks not in your case you really need to smudge very very often especially when your husband is going to start working on the house a good two or three days before he's getting ready to start you've got to make whoever is there lethargic so they leave him alone and you have to keep up the smudging then because any work that he's done you don't want them to break or destroy or make it worse so that's my best advice to you is just seriously to keep on smudging don't talk to them just smudge and keep your fingers crossed that when you finally get the house done and you move that they like the people that you sold the house to and don't decide to move with you this one is from um, bah, 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 bah. let me read it. Oh, Sydney, Australia. Hi, Marianne. My name is Irene. I live in a house that is 15 years old. Since moving in 14 years ago, we are the first tenants. I have been affected by spirits. I get touched daily and feel cold in my face, feel my breath being drawn. I'm very fatigued all the time and would like to know how to protect myself, family, and home. This is going to be the same answer that I told the gal from Texas. It sounds definitely like you have an earthbound spirit in the house. And you know, you say you're the first tenant. It doesn't make any difference. A ghost can go anywhere they want, whenever they want, however they want. So it, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, I do all kinds of work for builders, building new houses. So it's just a matter of how ornery the ghost is going to be. But if you smudge, listen to what, you know, listen to what I told the gal from Texas. Keep on smudging. If the ghost hasn't been there very long, well, you said you've been there 14 years. If the ghost has been there since you've been there, well, then that ghost has got a pretty good foothold on the house but if you're really really stick to it and smudge often you should be able to get whoever is there to move on uh, this one is from Mary Frances from Paris France a lot of out of the country ones this is interesting I have a lot of cremation urns of my deceased relatives in my house is this bad I don't seem to have very or any ghost problems but I would like to put my relatives to rest will they get angry if I do something with their ashes 
I have found out over the years that as long as the cremation was what your relative wanted, there should not be an issue. I'm sure they've crossed over. So many people want this kind of funeral or have that done or this done. And once they die, they figure out it's, you know, it's okay. Um, I think it's odd that none of them left instructions on where they wanted their ashes to go. I mean, I, I guess you could put them all together or, or release them to the wind someplace all together. I guess it's pretty much up to you. It's whatever you want to do. But they're not going to get angry about it. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I will tell you one that did get angry. Um, older woman and her husband had died. She hadn't cremated. And then she got remarried about five or six years after that. And she called me up, and it was like in January. And she said, well, I remarried my second, my, my husband. He's my second husband. And she said, you know, I, I didn't think my first husband was around, but I think maybe he's around giving me problems with my new husband. Uh, my husband is sort of cranky now, and he wasn't like that, or I wouldn't have married him. And I, I just don't know. Well, while I'm talking to her on the phone, I could absolutely see an older gentleman there. I said, was your husband bald, but he had like a little fringe? And she said, yes. And I said, nope, your husband's there. And she said, well, can you come out? And so I went out. Her new husband was there, and she was there. And so... The first husband, I said, so what's up? Why are you still here? Are you angry she got remarried? He said, no, no, I don't care she got remarried. She was lonely and that was fine. And I was just sticking around to keep an eye on her. He says, but now I can't, I don't know how to get to, to heaven now. And I says, well, I'll take care of that for you. I said, why did you, I says, they've been married since spring. I says, why did you just start acting up now? And he said, Ask my wife where my ashes are at. And I looked at his wife and I said, you had your first husband cremated. She said, I did. And I said, and his ashes are where? She said, well, I really never did anything formal with them. She says, they came in the little box and I kept the little box on the mantle. She says, but when I started dating my new husband, I thought, well, that was tacky. She said, so I moved the little box of ashes to the garage. And I glanced over at her dead husband, and he said, Yeah, now ask her new husband what happened. So I look at her new husband, and I said, Did you find the little box of ash outside in the garage? And he just stared at me. I said, Uh-oh, what happened? And he said, Those were his ashes? And I looked at the wife, and she said, What did you do? The snow was really bad, and they had a hill. Their driveway was on a hill, and it was a little icy, and he just thought they were ashes, and he threw them on the ice. That made the first husband angry. It was a done deal, and there was nothing you could do about it. So, you know, again, earthbound spirits have the same personality they had when they were alive. Now... I got another letter, and this lady wants me to write more books. Believe me, I would love to. Uh, I have two more to go in the fiction series. But I have a new editor where they are published at, and she absolutely hates the books. She would not let me do anything with them. I'm under contract. I can't go anywhere else. So until that editor is replaced or somebody talks her into it no new books for right now um, next week we will be talking about negative energy and curses again we're going to revisit this I know that we've talked about it before and some of the other ones but I guess after I'm on now for over a year of, of doing the YouTube surprise, um, that people want to just hear right now. They don't want to go back through the old ones. 
So, and I've got a lot of letters about curses and negative energy and items with negative energy on them. So I'm going to go ahead and next week we are going to do um, that. Another letter was about would I show pictures of ghosts. She said there's a lot of good pictures in some of my books. And there are. I'm not sure how well they'll come up by me holding them up. I, it's... I will try though. So starting next week, I will also show a couple of pictures with a little caption of how, where, when, and what. Um, and one last thing, I will be at the Goddess Elite this month, December, on the 21st from 1 in, to 4 in the afternoon to finish up your last minute Christmas shopping. And I was there last week and Good crowd, got a lot of information out there. It's not a talk, but you can come in, bring pictures, just ask me all kinds of questions. It's fun. And so come out and see me if you're in this area. And we will do this again next Wednesday. Thank you.